welcome back to another college football video in which today we are here in happy valley for a brand new big 10 matchup between the washington huskies and the penn state nittany lions let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be if you like this type of content like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top here at Beaver Stadium. Let's get it. Washington will get the ball to start off the game in here on second and two. It's a wide receiver screen by Will Rogers as he sidesteps the defender. And Jackson gets the first down taking it up to the 35 yard line. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after the stadium pulse is at electric high as it is ranked 2nd in the nation in terms of difficulty to play at. And it is completed to Coleman who takes it near midfield out to the 49 yard line for a Husky 1st down. Take a look at the replay right there as that was made to the flat and the receiver does a great job to outrun the defender to the 1st down marker. And here on 1st and 10 on the play right after, Will Rogers will work the left sideline as the pass is caught and completed to number 1 once again on two consecutive plays as he has 34 yards so far. And this will take the Huskies to the 31-yard line and into field goal range with 2.30 left here in the first quarter. Here on 3rd and 8, Will Rogers is in the pocket and is chased down as the pocket collapse on him. And that is number 11 with the sack on the play. And this will make it 4th and 13 for the Huskies at the 34-yard line. And that was the junior right edge, Abdul Carter, with the sack as he swims past the tackle and straight to the quarterback. Here at the 34 yard line the Huskies send out their field goal unit and the kick is up and good right through the middle and had lots of distance and the Huskies are going to put up the first points of the game taking a 3-0 lead over the Penn State Nittany Lions and that was a perfect snap perfect hold perfect kick right down the middle here on third and one Drew Aller has a touch pass as the receiver tries to get down the middle he is stopped short and it'll be fourth and inches for Penn State as the first quarter will come to a close. And it'll be a three and out for Penn State to start off the game. Here on second and six, Will Rogers quickly fires it over the middle. And the tight end's able to break a tackle and take it right to the one yard line. And he fought his way through and almost got the touchdown on that play as the Husky mascot shreds the guitar let's take a look at the replay right there as that was an incredible pass by will rogers for a total of 56 yards on the play 88 does a great job to shake off the defender off his back and just doesn't quite have enough speed to make it to the end zone but this sets up the huskies in very good field position at the one yard line and Drew Aller quickly gets his offense back to the line as they are looking to put Penn State's defense on their toes. And that quiets Beaver Stadium as Will Rogers completes it to the flat and caps it off with a touchdown reception to number 12 who signals to the crowd to sleep as that is Boston with the reception right there. Sophomore Denzel Boston with the 7 points right there as the Huskies increase their lead to 10, taking a 10-0 lead over Penn State with 2.51 left here in the second quarter. Here on second and six, Drew Aller quickly fires it over the left-hand side of the field, and number three cuts up field, breaks the tackle, and takes it into Husky territory at the 25-yard line. And just like that, the Penn State Nittany Lions flip the field as we hit the two-minute warning here in the second quarter here on third and seven drew aller has time in the pocket as he airs one out down the middle of the field the pass is caught and completed to the receiver number two on the play as he takes it up to the five yard line and sets up penn state with a first and goal here on first and goal drew aller is in the pocket as he airs one out towards the back of the end zone the pass is caught and completed to number six 
on the play as Penn State will put up their first points of the game as the score is now 10 to 7 with a minute 33 left. That is Harrison Wallace the third with that touchdown reception on the play. And that was a great drive and great response by the Penn State offense here in the second quarter. Here on first and 10, Will Rogers has a nice clean pocket as he works the right sideline. The pass is caught and completed to number five, Jackson, who takes it up to the 33-yard line and gets the Huskies a first down. Here on first and 10 on the play right after, Will Rogers will work the right side of the field as that is a little high throw, but 12 does a great job to come up with it as he flips the field and takes it into Penn State territory at the 24 yard line and take a look at the replay right there as that was a nice clean pocket and lots of open space between the corner and the safety to fit the ball into great first down by the Huskies with four seconds to go Washington will send out their field goal unit as the kick is up and no good and that would have put the Huskies up by six point and what a mistake by the kicker number 95 on the play as that should have been a chip shot for the Huskies right there. And with two seconds remaining, Penn State will get the ball and likely kneel it to take it into halftime. That is exactly what Drew Aller and Penn State will do right here as the ball is snapped and hit zero. We hit halftime and here are the stats for both teams so far as the Huskies lead 10-7. Here on 3rd and 10, Drew Aller sits back in the pocket, works the left side of the field as the pass is caught and completed to number 3 on the play as he takes it up to the 35-yard line for a Penn State first down. Here on 3rd and 3, Drew Aller is in the pocket, works it over the middle, but they are stopped just short of the line to gain, and it'll be 4th and inches for Penn State as they will punt the ball back to the Huskies here on their first drive here on third and three beaver stadium is roaring and will rogers cannot get the ball off on the halfback screen as the pressure gets home and will sack him back to the 11 yard line and it'll be a three and out for the huskies as well and that was the freshman d tackle mari everett with the sack on that play and will rogers could not get the ball off in time for the designed halfback screen as the third quarter will come to a close here are the stats for both teams so far heading into the fourth quarter as we get a glimpse of the husky sideline right there penn state will get the ball in husky territory and here on second and seven they have a wide receiver screen and number seven breaks the tackle and takes it to the red zone down to the washington 17 yard line and beaver stadium goes electric after that play so let's go take a look at the replay right there as drew allen recognizes the defense as seven gets a nice block by his teammate number six on the play to get the first down here on first and ten on the play right after drew aller switches the play up at the line and has time in the pocket works it towards the left sideline pass is caught and completed to his fullback number 44 on the play who gets it inside the 10 down to the 6 for a Penn State first and goal. Right here on the next play on first and goal, Drew Aller fires it towards the back of the end zone as the pass is caught to number 7 for the touchdown, and Penn State will take their first lead of the game as they lead 14-10 to with 2.49 left here in the fourth quarter. Let's take a look at the replay as that was the sophomore Caden Saunders with the touchdown reception right there he does a great job to separate from the defenders and keep his feet in bounds to make the play here on first and 10 will rogers is in the pocket as he works the right side of the field the pass is caught and completed to number five who gets up to the 30 yard line and gets the huskies a first down and let's take a look at the replay right there rogers had a nice clean pocket and the defenders separated from the receiver to open up that space here on first and 10 on the play right after will rogers airs one out towards the left side of the field as the pass is caught and completed to number five jackson on the play as he gets near midfield at the 48 yard line 
Will Rogers had a nice clean pocket and had a open receiver on the underneath as well, but decides to fit it to the tight pocket for the nice gain as we hit the two minute warning here in the fourth quarter. Here on second and 10, Will Rogers has a nice clean pocket, airs it towards the left sideline, pass is caught and completed to the 34 yard line to number five, Jackson once again. And let's go take a look at the replay right there as Will Rogers felt the pressure, quickly gets it to the outbound number five on the play. Here on second and seven, Rogers steps back in the pocket, has time as he works to the left sideline. The pass is caught and completed to his receiver as the Penn State mascot is in disbelief as the Huskies make it to the red zone down to the 15 yard line. Here on second and nine, Will Rogers is in the pocket, doesn't sense the pressure on the left hand side and is sacked by number 11 on the play as the Huskies will use their second timeout of the half. They get pushed back to the 22 yard line for a third and 17 and Will Rogers fumbles the ball but it is recovered by his Washington teammate and it'll be fourth and 22 from the 27 yard line for the Huskies as the Penn State mascot celebrates. Let's take a look at the replay as it is 11 once again with the pressure as he takes the ball out of the hands of Will Rogers on the play and here on fourth and 22 Will Rogers feels the pressure airs one out towards the left side of the field and the pass is caught and completed for a touchdown to his tight end number 88 on the play and that was just a defensive error by Penn State's unit right there as the Huskies take a 17 to 14 lead over Penn State that was the senior tight end Quentin Moore with the reception Rodgers does a great job to feel out the pressure and throw the ball to his open tight end to give Washington the lead with 23 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter here on second and 10 Drew Aller is in the pocket as he has time he airs one out towards the left side of the field as Penn State get the first down and take a timeout at the 40 yard line here with Six seconds remaining in the game, Penn State send out their field goal unit from the 36-yard line. And the kick is up and no good as it is wide left. And let's take a look at the replay right there as it had enough distance but wasn't accurate enough. And just like that, Washington are going to pull out the victory on Penn State as they lead 17 to 14 and will rogers will lead out the husky offense into victory formation as they will beat penn state 17 to 14. let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be if you like this type of content like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and i appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1000 subscribers if you're a fan of college football and the NFL, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.